And now let's talk about concat. So concat is used to concatenate strings. So it's like doing addition in numbers. Now we can do addition in strings. The syntax is simple. You want to call concat on a string and then pass in another string as argument. Now concat will concatenate the string two to the string one and returns a new string. So it doesn't modify any of these two strings here. Let's see an example here. So I have my string one, which is equal to hello and my const string two, which is equal to world. Now, if I call concat on string one, then pass in string two as argument, this will concatenate two strings. It's like doing string one plus string two. This will return a new string. I'm going to assign it to a const greeting and greeting now will be equal to hello world without a space here. So now you can also go and concatenate more than one string to another string. So now I can go and concatenate a space here and then my string to world to my string here one hello. I'm going to assign this to greeting and this time it will be equal to hello world. So hello, this is the string one, the space is the space here and string two is world. Now you can also concatenate more than two strings to another string. Now, instead of concatenating strings with concat, it is recommended that you use the assignment operators. So for example, here, instead of doing string one dot concat, you can use the the addition operator string one plus an empty string plus string two. That's because the addition or the assignment operators are way faster than the concat method. That's it for concat. Now let's move on to the next method.